It's spiny dogfish time. Spiny dogfish. Spiny dogfish. Natural G10. For me, please, I'll take the natural G10 one. And you know what she's saying? What's she saying? She's saying, throw me in the dye. Because <laughs> I can be anything you want. Any color. Okay, Gabco knives, of course. All right? All right. So... I mean, Matt, Mastrop did a couple of knives, you know, back when they were Mastrop, before they were in drop, okay, um, uh, Gabco knife designs. And this and that, and I've seen them here and there. I uh, can't remember the last time I saw one that was a budget knife, though. But I, I, I can't remember if CJRB did one or whatever. So I'm going to have to think on that, but... This one is a budget knife, and that is nice, isn't it? The spiny dogfish. So you can get this on Civivi.com. I'll give you the link to that. You can, you can get it on White Mountain Knives. You can get it wherever it's in stock, you know, that kind of thing. White Mountain Knives, just remember, LTK is the discount code for 10% off. They don't charge shipping or tax. Civivi knives, you can get it right from their site. Sometimes they're running specials here and there, so you might want to check them out. Plus, you'll get all the information on this. And it's nice to go to the Wee Knife, Civivi Knife, and Send Cut Knife site because they'll show you new arrivals and coming soon. That's nice. That's nice to see because there's some way cool stuff. Um, what do we got? 25% lock up on this. Liner lock. Of course, not nested liners, but they're skeletonized. It doesn't feel very heavy. It's definitely a spiny dogfish, isn't it? Whoa. Um, that's, but you know, that's Gabco knives, right? Okay. Now, yeah, baby, here's the deal. Yeah, you can get rewards. So you log in, you sign up, all that kind of stuff. Here you go. Spiny dogfish. It's manual. It's uh, my printer's doing crazy things. But, okay, you can get black G10. And then you can get this OD green with a black blade. Okay. 14C28N. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Three and a half inch blade, basically. So it's full-size knife. Here's your length. Almost eight inch uh, overall. Almost three and a half inch blade. Almost, okay, everything's almost. Three ounces, though. Three ounces, okay? And what are they? Three millimeter blade thickness, okay. And what else are you supposed to do? Oh, well, then I didn't want to bypass this. Gabco knives, reverse tanto, and all of that good stuff. So I'm sure they are giving them away. And boy, that flicks out. That really does. So you want just like a carry around user banger from Gavco Design? Wow, uh, you can do that. And it comes in a box. A box. And let's see what they have in the box, by the way. Uh, since you already know it's a three and a half inch blade, about eight inches overall length. And then you've got this sticker, this sticker. This little uh, knife information thing and a microfiber cloth and a zipper pouch. All for a measly budget knife. Wow. Okay. They're kicking it right there, huh? Um, that's nice that you get that. I mean, is that that super important? A lot of guys like, yeah, I don't care. Um just charge a little less for the knife. Well, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. So whatever. Um, and then this is sculpted stuff. I guess it's a little harder to see on this natural G10. Come to think of it. Maybe I should have got the OD green. But you can see these scalloped out areas here. All up and down. So it does really give you some traction. Kind of a little surprised that they didn't jump this thumb ramp. You know what I'm saying? And then you can jump up on here, get crazy, 
out of control. Okay, we got an old, we got an old piece of paper here. Uh, okay, uh, yes, made short work of that and short work of it again. So, yeah, that's that's it's pretty good edge right on there. Uh, so I'd say that's a solid, good factory edge, maybe a little bit on the plus side as far as sharpness goes. But yeah, you can work your way up here. Okay, so there it is. Is it over the D10 ball? Yeah, it is. Is it going to drop? Yeah, nicely. Centered, okay. Lock, rock, blade play, no. Okay, so, and easy to disengage here. Yeah, it's jimped along here. And you can see a differential in height, which means you can get your old fat thumb in there. Boom. Just let her drop. Dank. Where's the flipper tab? Why is it not a front flipper? Okay. So this is actually just a standard decent knife that's not trying to do anything tricky or crazy. And you can thumb flick it out. You can middle finger flick it out. Ooh, oh, I finally got it to go. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I'd say detents where it needs to be. It's not real stiff, but it's, I mean, it's nice and flickable, and you don't have a flipper tab, you, you know, this and this. So if you got to do that, you want it a little softer, but it's about fair to meddling. It's, it's, it's all right. Open design. Here you go. Big standoffs. Big stand. Oh, one. <laughs> one. Looks like it goes through to here. Okay. Strange. They didn't have that. Uh, maybe they'd have brought it around. They could have had it double duty with one of these screws. But mm, you probably need to do this anyhow. But so it feels, you know, because these are not nested liners, it does. You know, you can do a little bit, but it's it's pretty solid. Obviously, not a heavy use knife, but uh, ah, look at this, look at this grind. So you got all kinds of like reverse tantos, what they were saying. So this could be nice little user because it it looks. What did they say? Three ounces. Let's see if it is. What are we on grams? 88 grams at best, right? So let's kick back around to ounces. And yeah, bingo, what were they saying? 3.07. So there you go, 3.1. They're, they're right on with that. You know, have you guys been on Amazon and picked these up? I think you can pick these up on Civivi's site too, but Civivi has listings on Amazon. And so look at these screws and look at this. I don't know if you can flip this on here because see what Sabivi's been doing. They've been doing deep carry. We're going to disassemble this. I'm going to see if this will go on this knife. There's so many Sabivi knives that have these screws, one on top of the other, you know, up and down like this, okay, because they're deep carry clips. And so they're making these as well. And they come up with screws right there. And they give you different length screws depending on what kind of scales you have on your Civivi knife. So you might want to check this out. And also they've got colored, um, just stamped uh, clips. Okay, so you can buy them separately as well. Did you know that you could? Yeah, I mean, I realized that months ago, but I mean... I hadn't said anything about it since. I hadn't brought anything up. But this is interesting. Mm, this on this knife, mm, maybe not. But, I mean, there's there's some where maybe the Elementum, you know, button lock in my Carta or something like that. It could be kind of a nice little thing that'll give it some, jazz it up, give it a little class, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'll put this back here. And let's talk about Ergos. Well, it's lightweight, and the ergos are pretty good. I mean, considering it's a spiny dogfish. And, of course, Gavco always names their stuff. Well, he's over on the west coast of Florida. Did you know that? So, 
Yeah, he does and names them usually some kind of sea creature. It used to be sharks, you know, Mako and this and this and this. But uh, yeah, spiny dogfish. He worked his way out of the shark kingdom or something. <sighs> All right. But, you know, at least you've got some blade here. And yet this is lightweight, easy on the hands. Now it's not a real deep handle. I don't know. I mean, I I don't know if I like mine this thin quite. I like a little bit more depth maybe um, than that. But, I mean, it'll do. I mean, it's carryable. And, you know, the plus side of this is that it's not going to take up as much real estate in your pocket front to back. Also, like I said, it's lightweight. The, the design, does it flow? Yes, it does. Flows right into the bolster. Blade to handle length, is it good? Yeah, it's good. So, you're getting all that as well. And that's three and a half there. Three and a half there. I don't know why they're saying 3.46. I don't know. They've been stuck on that kind of ideology, but I just say no. 90 millimeters. Seven and a half, seven point five five. Well, I don't know. It's really close to seven and a half, and it's nineteen point seven centimeters, somewhere in there. Okay, but yeah, three millimeter blade stock, and yeah, I wonder what this is on top of all the scalloping and stuff. Twelve point six, about a half inch, point four nine. And let's confirm this. Yeah, that's three millimeter. Well, look at that. 2.6. And now, uh, I need three. It's actually a little less than that at 0 0.10. Okay. Alrighty then. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be lightweight because of all those factors. A little thinner blade, but it's going to be nice and slicey and fun and uh, cool to carry in a different kind of look and that's what gabco is all about is this kind of angular shark you know kind of look and and so you can you can spot his designs he's got a design language definitely that's recognizable well let's see what we what we got going on here and this one just spins right off doesn't it spin to win Okay, the Civivi should be a little hump under this cap here that, and a notch underneath it, and they made up so the pivot won't turn. And then let's see about this. Is this, yeah, this is number eight here. The body screws are usually number eight on the Civivis. But you know what? I was going to take, hold on, pull this. You going to come out of there? Well, I don't care if you do or not. Here, let me get this. Okay. Now, um, okay, I can remove this from this. There's body screw. Okay. And there's our scale. There's, uh, yeah, ceramic bearing. Uh, I mean, ceramic detent and ceramic bearings on the blade, blah, blah, blah. All that. There goes the pivot underneath the pivot cap. Yeah, I saw it real quick here. Hold on. Where are you? Yeah, there's the little cutaway right there. And it butts up to this little humpity hump that they got milled in there. It's hard to see with that uh, natural G10. Okay, so there's a standoff, skeletonized liners, all that, ceramic bearings, blah, blah. And, of course, here's your blade stop. But, come here. So, will this line up on here? And can I, can I put it like that if I wanted to? Yeah. She'll line up. It's just a matter of getting the right screws in there if you want. You know, the right length ones. And that's what they give you different lengths. Thing is, you're going to need a little longer screw because, see, you've got, you got depth to this that the screw's going to have to sit down into. And where did those go? 
And I don't I don't think these are gonna make the grade. These are the standard ones. Well, they might. They might actually be usable. Um get it in the right hole. Ooh, nah. Once it gets through there and it's gotta go into Nah, see, there's not gonna be enough. That's why they give you those extra screws. Because that's not enough depth. But these, you can choose from what depth you need to put these on there. So you could get yourself a nice little titanium clip. I keep thinking these were like 16 bucks or $18. I think they were under 20 And they give you the screws. Uh, so, because it just depends on what Civivi model you're dealing with what the scales are like and you know what you're going to have to get through so you don't want too long of a screw you'll go all the way through and you'll be hitting the blade or not too short or you won't get into the liner here and get good purchase on it so you got screws here if you want to do the clip right see abc do you know your abcs do you well do you punk now look at this. Yeah. T8, of course. And these are T8, not these are T6 in, in the normal what comes with it. But see, 1.5 millimeter by 2.5. Uh 1.5. Uh these are 4.7, 6.3. Hold on, what was this one? Four. Okay, four, yeah, 4.7, 6.3. These are 5.4 and 5.7. So you can decide what you want. And so you can go in with whatever you feel is the appropriate length. And you know what? You've got a 5.5 .5 and a 5.7. I think what you can do is to. I wonder if these are deep enough, just the 5.4, and what, that one was a 5.4 as well, so actually I have three of these 5.4s, let's just try it, what the hell, um, and these are number eights, so yes, I can do that, I can put this through here, will this be enough, or will it be too much, do I need to back it down, okay, let me try, Okay, now, okay, so here's me screwing this into here. And you see where I'm at in here? It is right there. It's not, that's not too far. So, um, no, that's just a regular pocket screw. This is the other one. Okay, so let me try this one and see where we are with this. If I didn't already get it knocked out of the way, I whacked it out of position. Okay, here we go. Okay, that tightened down. Okay, so it didn't really come through. It came through a little bit. So you can make the determination, is that too unsightly? Um, could we have gone back to, what were we? Um, well, the, these were, um, this is 5.4, 5. 5. okay? And then the B had a, 4.7 so maybe you could have used a 4.7 but i don't have two of those and that's 6.3 and then this is another 5.4 and 5.7 so these are both 5.4s i think that's about as good as we're gonna do but i think that's acceptable okay we're good and now we got a titanium pocket clip hell yeah what do you think about that is that kind of interesting? I mean, you can do that, and you can do it on your other Civivi knives, so you might want to think about that, and or 
get uh, the colored ones. And I don't know if the colored ones that they sell on that are all, they look like they're anodized or something. So maybe they're a titanium clip that's anodized. I don't know. So just saying. Spiny dogfish. And we're back. And we're just so ordinary now without that titanium pocket clip. But fear not. It's still here. So we could mount it anytime we wanted to. Just way cool. Gives you options. I like that. I like that Civivi's not just leaving the aftermarket, uh, you know, as the only place you can go to try and jazz these up because they're budget type knives. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, there's plenty of aftermarket places to jazz up your expensive knives. But the problem is, what if you got a budget knife you want to jazz up, you know? So this, this gives you that opportunity to put a different pocket clip on it. Maybe Savivi will do some other stuff that'll be available for their knives as well. But uh, Spiny Dogfish, there she be. Decide what you want to do. We love them knives. You guys, stay sharp.